This is the Coasis Sherilon Car Vacuum Cleaner. Let's take it out of the box. In the box you get the instruction manual. They give you a nice carry bag that fits everything, so that's nice and handy. It can go in your trunk. Here is the vacuum itself. This is 12 volt cigarette lighter powered from your car. It is recommended to have the engine running for the most power available. They give you a spare fuse with it over here. A spare filter. This is a second filter in the event the one in here is clogged or you're vacuuming a lot of stuff and you don't have time to clean it. These are washable uh, as well. They give you a cleaning brush to get excess dust and whatever out of it. Uh, also will help with cleaning the filter. A crevice tool, as you see right here, and a brush. This also rotates around like that. I'll show you that in more detail in a minute, like that, and an extension hose as well. So let me show you how this goes together. Not shown earlier, there also is an extension wand as well. So I'm going to demonstrate all of this to you. So here's the vacuum itself. I want to show you how it kind of goes together and how the dust is collected, all that. So you have uh, your power switch here, very simple like that, on and off. Button here and on the other side, squeeze, and the whole thing comes off. All of your dirt is going to be collected in here. What you can do is you can take this right over the garbage can, turn that, pull it out, and all of your dirt you can shake out, and then it just fits right back in. The filter is in here. This, you just stick your finger in there, pull the whole thing out, just like that, and the filter is right here. Just wiggle that, that comes out. The filter can be cleaned off with a little brush they gave you, and you can also wash this, let it dry naturally, and it's ready for reuse. Then when you're done, it just clicks back on, snaps back together, and you're all set. Here is where you attach whatever you want. So if you wanted the brush, you could do that, and then you would go and move these out of the way over here. You would go and vacuum like this. So you're kind of having to look over the front of this, yes. You can also turn this at an angle if you wanted to go that way. That might work better for you. So it's articulating as such. So that's one option. You can also go straight and then we can take that off and just flip it around and you can use it kind of in a more conventional manner like that. You also have the extension piece over here so that can fit in. Then you can put that on and now you have a much longer piece as you see here. Now, of course you can do the same thing with the crevice tool like that so that can go in and you can vacuum like that and they also give you the hose if I get that here carefully that can plug in and the other end of it right over here we can put the crevice tool in that and now you have a hose like that and you can use your crevice tool or your brush or anything like that so all that is a, in a nice tidy package like that. The vacuum itself, the motor in here, is 150 watts, produces 7.5 kPa of suction, and runs at 32,000 RPM. Let's go ahead and take this out to the car, and I'll do a quick example of vacuuming with it. By the way, the cord on here is 16.4 feet, so it should reach even the back of your oversized SUV. It looks like the styrofoam monster has paid me a visit, so let's try to clean that up. It seems to be doing just fine. As far as the little grass bits and that, that's all ground into this carpet. Uh, a vacuum like this is more suited to stuff that is on the surface and not ground in. These mats are forever old. But 
but whatever's on the surface, it seems to do just fine. If you got kids that leave crumbs and stuff like that, we use a little crevice nozzle. Cuts it right up without any trouble at all. Even in the cracks here, does fine. And like I said, everything is stored right in there like that to be emptied out later. So once again, this was the Coasis Sherilon Car Vacuum Cleaner. If you'd like to purchase this item, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find the item available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.